Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Tonight I'm going to review uh, the new Immunet Protect version 2.0. As you can see, they changed some things. Um, they also have a premium version now for $20 that they're uh, offering. You get a little advertisement here. Some of the settings here on the new version. Um, they have three engines right now. In the free version, you only get two. Uh, and uh, other in the paid version you get all three what else uh, in the paid version you get the opportunity to scan archive files pack files email deep scan and uh, you also get localized signatures so you actually get to download the signatures so you don't have to be connected to the internet uh, what else here there's a gaming mode your community files. Uh, there's a couple of things here. CPU usage, memory usage. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I could find that's a little different. You get your history. Uh, you can check for updates for the program. And it's the newest version. So let's get testing here. I think I have like 12 links in case some of them don't work. Okay, we're gonna wait for that one to do whatever it's doing. Okay, that one's not working. Okay, it looks like I found something. Okay, looks like I found that one. And another one. Two more here. Looks like Windows Defender detected something. All right, so what I'm going to do now is do a full scan. Uh, you can't do a deep scan in the free version, but you can do a full scan, and there's no root rootkit scan either, only in the paid version. So I'm going to do a full scan, and I will be back when the scan is done. See you then. 
Okay, so the scan finished and it said it found nothing. So, what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, there's definitely a pretty good infection going on here. So, I'm going to run uh, malware bytes, or C cleaner first, and then malware bytes, and I'll be back after that's run. So, I'll see you then. Okay, so malware bytes uh, finished scanning here and it found 15 things. So let's see what it found here. We found some spyware, we got a memory process, got a couple files, we got a Trojan, Trojan downloader, uh, fake alert stuff, and another Trojan. So because we have a memory file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart these. And this time I'm going to do, uh, do something different. After this restarts, I actually grab the newest signature for Windows Defender, and I'm going to install it. And just give it a scan and just kind of see how it's been, you know, progressed. So I'll see you after Windows Defender does its scan. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys. So what I had to do is I tried to run uh, Windows Defender, uh, but something's blocking it from running. So I decided just to give, a tr give it a try. And uh, I reran, of course, Malwarebytes after it restarted and it found nothing. And now I ran Super Anti Spyware. And it looks like it caught. Uh, a Trojan that Malwarebytes uh, missed. So I'm going to remove this Trojan and it's going to ask me to restart and I'm going to restart and I'm going to try to once again run Windows Defender. If that doesn't work I'm going to go and run uh, Hitman Pro and we'll see what happens then. So I'll see you then. Okay so for I still couldn't get Windows Defender to run and um, I ended up just doing a scan with uh, Hitman Pro here and I found two extra Trojans uh, and what you're seeing here is Super Anti Spyware and there's no point of uploading it because that's what it is. So I found two more things. So you can definitely say that this uh, computer is still infected. Um, see if we have any active infections here. don't see anything but I know there's probably still something floating around here um, let's try the old trick to see if we have some kind of root kit let's see if we get any redirects okay we can get to AVG let's try a vest get to vest PC tools okay so it seems we can get to most of the free antivirus uh, companies so I doubt we have a root kit but you never know um, but back to Immunet um, as you can see it was in my opinion a waste of time uh, right now I don't see the reason in downloading this program unless you don't believe that your security that you have um, isn't good enough and you want to supplement it but uh, if you want to do that why don't you just try a new security suite or whatever you're running change your antivirus to something else uh, I kinda don't see the point of supplementing something that it's not good with something else. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, that's it on this review. I'm going to go and upload it, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.